Remember Square. If you've been watching these for the last week, I highlighted Square. Square, one of my favorite charts down here. Great company overall, has been beaten down. Look at this. Square fell from about $80, almost in a straight line. It had one bounce in here, right? But ultimately, $80 to $40, 50% drop in the stock. Now look, we had this high pivot, this high pivot, and this high pivot. If we then do a parallel line to this low here, what do we get here? That low. And look at the bounce right there. There was also a gap fill right in that mix. The stock, again, was at $40. It's already back to $46. That's a 12%, 15% move on a stock. My guess is it has a little bit more upside. You know, whether it gets here or here, there's a gap fill those two places. This would be best case scenario right at this $52, $53 level. But that is a cool chart. Like, again, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm not giving you complex quadratic equations or calculus crazy stuff where you have to do this. All it is is literally drawing a line here, dropping a parallel. Oh, look at that. The biggest issue that most investors have here, and listen, I fall into this camp too. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's jumping the gun. So as this is coming down, starting to buy too early. I was in this camp right? I actually started to accumulate square with members when it was kind of up in this range. The beauty of how I maneuver here, and we're now in the money on this trade at inthemoneystocks.com, was that we bought very little here, we added more here, we added more here, and we added more here. We doubled up when we got down here, so our average was like right in here, and we're now in the money. And so the key is this, is that when I go into a trade, when I go into any trade, I go in expecting to lose. You may say, wow, Gareth, that's the, the craziest mindset. How, how does that mindset work? Well, the key is when you go in expecting to win, are you going to invest more money than you should or less money or, or the amount that you should? And the answer is when you go in expecting to win, inevitably your mindset is, wow, this is going to be a no-brainer. Let me put all my money in or too much money in. And the problem is we know from markets they're, they're wild. And ultimately, when you overinvest, it creates emotion, which is your enemy. It creates you making the wrong decisions based on that emotion and everything else. And so by inching in, when I go into a trade, I say, man, you know what? Yes, I win about 70, 80 percent of the time. But, you know, that's still two to three out of every 10 that I'm going to lose. What if what if this one is going to be my loser? Well, I, I don't want to go in too heavy then. So let me start small. Let me dip my toe in the water. And by doing that, yes, if I'm correct, I only make a small amount. But you know what? It's all about protecting the downside, protecting the downside. So when this situation arises, I can nibble. And when it goes lower, I just nibble a little bit more, more, more. I build that full position, whatever I, I deem as my full position in my portfolio. And then when the bounce inevitably comes on a good quality stock, bank it or start to slowly leg out. You can do what you want at that point. But these are lessons, guys, that literally are lifelong lessons that will serve you in investing. It doesn't matter if it's real estate, or it doesn't matter if it's you know commodities, stocks, or anything. All right, 